What is up guys, Alex back at you with another product review. Let's look at, uh, today let's check out the new Exalt Carbon tank case. This might seem like a product that maybe you're not particularly interested in because you're like, well, my tank's fine. I've got a tank cover on it and I put it in my gear bag and it's whatever. Um, to me, there's a couple different uses for it. One, uh, just in your gear bag in the first place is definitely, I think, not a bad idea. Tanks are heavy, they're hard. If they're just floating around in your gear bag, they definitely could knock into stuff. And maybe if you have your mask in there, if you have an older gear bag where it's just a big pocket, just a big hole, I, it could knock into stuff. Could knock into your gun if you don't have it in a gun case or your mask or something like that. It could scratch up your lens or something like that. So it's definitely, you know, presumably, a good idea for that. Um, the other point is flying. If you're flying, if you're going to an event, if you're going to a World Cup or any of the NXL events, or if you're just flying to an event in the first place, um, it's really handy for that because it even has a spot on the inside for the reg. So you can take off your reg off the tank so you can fly with it. And it has a spot so you don't have to like put the reg in like one place in your gear bag and your tank in another place in the gear bag because everybody knows that we're paintballers and you know our stuff goes through TSA and it gets checked and stuff gets stolen. It's just a habit of life. We go through it as paintball players. Our stuff gets stolen by the TSA because it looks bad, because we have guns in our bag that look like guns and, and all that kind of stuff. And I've personally gone through it. I've lost stuff to the TSA before. I know a lot of people have. It's just a fact of life for us paintballers. Um, so this is definitely not a bad idea for that. So if you open it, uh, if you just look at it in the first place, it's fairly large. Uh, but you, if you open it up, it's coated in green microfiber. Uh, it has this uh, little elastic uh, Velcro strap so you can strap the entire thing of, tank, of the tank around it uh, so it doesn't float around inside and it has this pocket up front with this other elastic strap so you can actually put your individual tank rag or if you're just traveling locally or something like that um, you can use it as just like a general purpose space you can toss in like other stuff like even you could probably even squish like a microfiber in there or just like other small stuff maybe your uh, like a, an extra rig or like a little repair kit or anything like that you can toss it in there uh, so right off the bat, it's pretty self-explanatory what it is. Um, obviously, they're available in the classic Exalt carbon case, black and lime, as well as all the new carbon cases, except for one, except for the mask case, is available in this new white carbon. It's white carbon uh, with black accent. It looks really, really hot. All the new cases are available in this, with the exception of the mask case. I want to stress that there is no white mask case. Please don't look for it. It's not there. But all of the other cases are available in this beautiful white carbon, which is really, really hot. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. And it's a, it's a good difference from the black and lime. Obviously, that's just personal preference, whatever color you want to buy. But they look really, really hot with the white and black. Good look. Uh, so right off the bat, I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like with a tank in it. Uh, I have a bunch of different size tanks in here from a super light 50. Uh, all the way up to, uh, unfortunately, I don't have any regular 90s or 110s, but I do have super light versions of those big ones. And I'm going to toss them in here and show you guys what fits, what doesn't fit, and uh, how it looks like. So let's start off from uh, the smallest tank and kind of work our way up to the uh, tallest tank. Uh, so right off the bat, let's grab the super light 50. This is going to be the same size as um, most of the peanut tanks, like a 48 or 45 or even a 50. Um, except for maybe the old dye tanks. The old dye tanks, um, specifically one that I used to have that I've actually recently sold. It was a dye 80, but it was a peanut. It was a really weird size. Dye used to make some weird sizes. I'm not quite sure if that'll fit. I don't have it here with me to test, but I can show you guys pretty much everything else. Uh, so here is a Ninja Super Light 50. Uh, obviously this fits with room to spare. You can take the strap, put the elastic strap around it, pop it in, and there's plenty of room. The regs uh, spills over kind of into the reg department or you can you know even slide it all the way to the back and really kind of crank down uh, on this elastic strap it's so elastic you can probably even wrap it all the way around and come around and velcro it so it doesn't really go anywhere and uh, here is a spare ninja reg and you can pop that right into the side there and you can see how that fits right there plenty of room obviously not a you know not really Kind of amazing that uh, a 50 CI tank will actually fit. So let's move on up. 
uh, here's a 4545, but this is the Ninja 4545, so it's elongated. It's not so much of the peanut as it is a normal shape, but it is a little bit long and a little bit thin. Um, obviously, if we pop it in here, uh, it fits perfectly fine with room to spare on both sides. Uh, obviously, the reg spills over, but you can pop it back. So you do have actually room for a separate reg if you pop it all the way back. So the Ninja 4545 fits just fine. Let's step it up to uh, 68s. Let's start off with a normal 68. This is an Empire uh, 6845 tank, standard. Um, so it's your standard carbon, it's the larger size, 68, your standard size, 68, not a super light, anything like that. So if we pop it in right here, you can see there's the fitment right there. There's a tiny touch of playroom in the back towards the tank, so you can maybe slide that back, maybe a half inch, but obviously the rig spills over into the extra compartment. However, let's throw this in here just to see how the sizing is. If I put the Ninja rig in the little rig compartment here, um, it actually still fits uh, just fine. This folds over and you can zip it up, no problems asked. So you can actually fit a whole spare rig in here, even with a standard size 68. And obviously you can just take the elastic Velcro, strap it over, uh, close your tank case, and away you go. So standard 68, definitely no problem. I've even tested this, I know you guys are gonna ask, with like tank covers, that kind of thing. Um, obviously my tank is a bad example because I use two exalt tank grips so they don't take up a lot of room. Um, but I have tried this with uh, regular tank covers, like the neoprene ones from like Empire and Dye and stuff like that, and they fit just fine. So you don't have to worry about your tank not fitting because you've got a big tank cover on it or anything like that. Uh, so let's obviously, if a standard 68 would fit, a super light 68 Empire or Ninja is obviously gonna fit just fine. You guys can see that right there. So let's uh, bring up the size just a little bit right here. Let's, uh, here's a Ninja 77 tank. So if you're on the pro circuit, or you play a lot of uh, tournament paintball and stuff like that, this might be your go-to tank, a 77, just because of the air capacity. So does a 77 fit? Absolutely, a super light 77 definitely does fit. Would a, would a regular 77 fit? Um, I think we'll find out when we try and fit a Ninja Super Light 90. That probably is around the size of a regular 77. But we shall find out. Super light 77 fits definitely no problem. Here's a little interim size. This is the Empire Superlight 80, because they apparently don't do 77s. Their Superlights do 68 and 80. So here's an Empire 80 Superlight. Still fits, no problems. It's almost a perfect fit then. There you go. Superlight 80 definitely fits. So here we go. Chest in the big one. Not that one. Let's try this one. This is a super light 90. This is probably maybe even a touch larger than a standard 77. Um, but this is a 90. If this fits, pretty much any tank will fit in here except for maybe a standard 90 or a standard 110. Um, a super light 110, I'm not super sure of, but this is a super light 90. Ooh, look at that. Just enough still fits and obviously there's plenty of space in there to even fit your second regulator or your only regulator if you're flying there it is a super light 90 tank from ninja oh, let's actually tuck that in because i didn't do the little velcro strap tuck that in i didn't even have to force a zipper fits no problem whatsoever so there's your super light 90 tank. So I would go ahead and comfortably tell you that a standard 77, obviously as well as the super light 77, which we already saw, will fit inside this tank case. Now, as far as a standard 90 and a standard 110, or maybe even a super light 110, that is, I think, where you're probably gonna start having problems with fitment with the exalt tank case. Um, I can't really test that for you because I don't actually have any, but, a super light 90 actually does fit just fine as you guys saw so I would assume again that a standard size 77 would definitely fit standard 90 and then anything above that is where I start to have questions about it but as far as being a universal tank case it 
pretty much covers all the sizes that you're going to need. Super light 90 and anything below it is definitely going to fit, no questions asked. So as far as the actual construction, it's made out of the, uh, the same material that all of the other uh, Exalt Carbon cases are made out of. It's definitely super firm. It's not, uh, you know, it's not fragile by any means. It's going to take a beating. Um, so obviously it's just two zippered pockets and on the inside, you know, you have like the tank pocket with the Velcro strap, like I said, and the little reg spot with uh, another elastic strap, uh, like I mentioned before, to, uh, I don't know, clamp your reg down or whatever. But you zip it up. You know, it's pretty hardy. It's not gonna get beat up inside your gear bag, flying or not. It's got this nice little carry handle. It's rubberized, it's pretty sturdy. Uh, it's definitely pretty tough. It's not gonna catch on anything or uh, really rip or break or anything like that. If it does, I would immediately contact Exalt because I know for a fact that uh, the guys over Exalt, great group of guys that will replace anything that breaks for free as far as I've ever dealt with them. Uh, pretty much no questions asked. So it's pretty hardy, nice carry handle, you know, microfiber lined inside, uh, gonna take care of your tank for sure. So again, super light 90 and below, no questions asked, will fit absolutely fine. Anything above that, I definitely have questions about. I would have to try it personally. Uh, if I do get the chance to try it, I will throw up another video. Um, no promises about that though. I really don't know too many people with that big of tanks. Um, but I will try and see if I can get one. Uh, but other than that, again, available in uh, black and lime, their classic carbon case, as well as the new white carbon with black accents, which <clears throat> is available for the tank case, the lens case, white and black, as well as the new sunglasses case. Exalt came out with these sunglasses cases. Uh, it's literally this size of a pair of sunglasses. It's got a little Exalt carabiner clip, just like the pod swabs or any, any of the other tank cases. You open it up, it's just the uh, lime green classic Exalt microfiber insides. It's completely hollow. It's supposed to be just a universal size for any sunglasses. Uh, I actually already have one of these and I sold a bunch of them this past weekend and customers seem to be really happy with them. It's a nice case to take care of your nice sunglasses if you have like uh, Oakley's or uh, Dolce & Gabbana or anything like that, uh, it will fit them just fine, except for maybe like really large oversized aviators or something like that. But I have seen a pair of actual aviators fit in here just fine. Um, but these sunglasses cases retail for only $12, which is pretty brilliant. And they come in uh, uh, obviously just the, uh, the black and lime and this beautiful white carbon uh, with black accent that you see here. Um, the other case that comes in that uh, really nice white carbon with the black accent is the uh, barrel case. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any of those right now because I do have a, such a large supply of the regular Exalt barrel cases in stock uh, that I didn't really want to get any more at this point. Um, but uh, barrel case, I this thing, the Exalt barrel case, which you've already seen me do a video of, is now obviously not just this black carbon with the lime green accent, it comes in the nice white carbon with the black accent. So you can look super fancy when you roll out onto the field and you can look like you have way more money than you actually do because that's the whole goal is uh, looking as good as you can on the paintball field. Because if you look that good, then you don't need to know anything. That was a quote from Futurama, by the way, if none of you guys caught that, as uh, season two, episode two. Look that up. Maybe episode three, I remain. I don't know. I don't remember. Episode two or three, but look that up. Anyway, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, liked or learned something. Uh, if not, sorry about that. I can't get you guys all the time. Uh, but if you did, hit that like button down below. It uh, means a lot to the channel, helps me out more than you can know. And uh, that's about it, guys, and I will see you next time.